Now you know I have to talk about the Doomfist announcement. I was actually at work on my lunch break when I saw the tweet. My mind was going chaotic and watching everything that was being posted about him. This video is the cinematic origins if you haven't seen it already. It's done in an anime style and has a lot of kinetic energy behind it, and is appropriate for this all out fight to try and take Doomfist down. The gameplay in this video is pulled from Overwatch Central's channel, because I'm on console and represent the console community and therefore don't have access to the PTR. I'll leave a link in the description for the full video. So the point of this video is to give my initial impressions of Doomfist and where I think he might fit in the meta. The reason I ask is Doomfist's release too late is because right now the meta is heavily favoring dive comps. And I think Doomfist might be a good addition to a dive comp actually. He doesn't counter it though. It seems we could have really used him during the triple tank meta as he comes off as a tank buster like Reaper. Can you imagine the tank meta with the other team running Reaper and Doomfist? That meta probably wouldn't have lasted as long as it did. It's tough for me to imagine exactly where Doomfist fits in the meta. Will he be a gimmick pick like the way Orisa is right now? Maybe. I will say that I believe he will be a good counter to one of the toughest heroes to beat in the game right now. D.Va. Everyone is talking about her matrix and how strong it is. Now there are a handful of heroes and abilities that aren't affected by D.Va's matrix. Mei, Symmetra, and Zarya have weapons that go right through it. But they aren't very ideal in the current meta right now, and none of them are in the offense category. Zarya herself has fallen off pretty strongly, which is a shame. Reinhardt's hammer is a nice counter to her matrix, but he's still a tank. So the only DPS that can do real damage in the presence of a D.Va matrix is Genji's Dragon Blade, which is an ultimate. Sombra's EMP isn't affected either, but it doesn't do any damage. So we have a problem that every single DPS's ultimate can be easily countered by D.Va's matrix, and many of them to the point of pure uselessness for that ultimate. Except Doomfist. He has a DPS that is 90% pure melee damage. Something D.Va can't do anything about. Even his ultimate cannot be countered by her. He just may be the answer to the D.Va Matrix problem. I'm not entirely sure, but this is just my first impressions. The other thing I think will be is that Zarya and Doomfist will make a really good duo. She is great for helping Reaper get in close and do his thing with those shotguns while dramatically increasing her chance of getting a good charge off of that bubble on him. With Doomfist, I feel this up-close style similar to Reaper's will be more prevalent if he has a good Zarya player backing him up. And of course, combining ultimates with a Zarya just goes well with more than half of the DPS heroes, but Doomfist's ult comes off that because of the small range potential for really heavy damage, he would get a lot of damage off with her help. So that's just my first impressions of Doomfist. I just wanted to do something a little different than what everyone else is doing, so I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave comments below on your first impressions of Doomfist. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.